Good evening, hockey fans. We're here at Pagula Ice Arena in State College, Pennsylvania, on campus of Penn State University. And for the first time for the Ice Lions this year, we're playing at the arena rink as the Penn State University Ice Lions get set to take on the Maryland Terrapins. Here, it looks like actually we're just getting ready for the national anthem, so we'll pause, we'll come back, we'll have some pregame analysis here in just a moment. So, national anthem, then we'll have some analysis, then puck drop coming up here at the Goal Ice Arena. Now we are ready for hockey here in State College. It's the Terps and the Ice Lions here at Pagula Ice Arena. I'm Mark McClure. Matt Fusillo is with me here for Maryland Hockey Network. Terps come into this game. They have gotten back to 500 after that win against Towson. They're 6-6 six and six on the year, but they are 2-4 and four in the mock conference. So this is a big game for the Terps because they try to claw back into it from a Division standpoint, the Penn State Ice Lions, they're seven and three on the year, two and two of the mock coming off splitting a set of two games against the Delaware University Blue Hens out in Newark. So they've had some mixed results coming in and they are looking to get some home cooking before the end of uh, the fall semester's games. So now you take a look at these two teams on paper, Penn State has a little bit of an advantage, slightly better team but Maryland has been so hot at this point that it's scary. They've won four out of their last five. Maryland's been hot. I mean, they won their last week against the D1 Towson. I actually talked to Trevor Drake before the game, and he said if we could beat a D1 team, then we could beat a D2 team. So they're flying in confident tonight, and they've won four of their last five. Nate Schumann brought the puck in there for Penn State, but he immediately lost. There's Tucker Healy who's wearing 24 tonight because he left, forgot his jersey, gets the first shot on net, and a good save in net from Joshua Ferry, the freshman. His first set of action tonight, 15 seconds in to this first period. The faceoff will go to Ferry's left. Looks like it is won by the Terrapins. And right in front, a chance for Liam Eden. He got right on the doorstep, but a good save by Ferry. Rebound chance, and that one's blocked. Out near the blue line, taken again by Tucker Healy. It's dumped into the right corner. Eden was there, but it's swung around the boards by the ice lines as they try to clear the zone. Two ice lines and two Terrapins over there. Ryan Long amongst the, the ice lines trying to get this clear. But Liam Eden just relentless trying to get the puck back. He fires one off a body of an ice line. It goes back out to the point for Airy. Airy wrists one in, got deflected before it got to the cage. And now a chance to clear again. Here's Matt Owens. He brought it to center ice, but immediately lost it. It was dumped right back in by Tomaszewski. Ice lines get it back. They flip it in right in front of the cage. And... It, It'll be an opportunity for the Terps to get back up ice as DePoy gets his first opportunity to get involved offensively. Goes off of his stick into the near boards. I'll give you a chance to give a, a quick the starting lines for both sides after this quick break here the other way for the Ice Lions. And the shot comes in. Save made first for Henry Pelletier tonight. And that comes 18.38 left in the opening period of play. But Starters for tonight's game, it's Joe De Laurentiis, Ryan Long, and Matt Owens make up the first offensive group for the Ice Lions. Nate Schumann and Wade Ashford are the first D pairing, and Joshua Ferry gets the start in net. The usual group for Maryland, it's Healy, Liam Eden, and Patrick Beganowski, the first line. On defense, it is Hunter Arian, Daniel Tomaszewski, and Henry Pelletier back in net tonight after getting the break in the game against Towson. But here comes the Ice Lions as they try to set up offensively. 
Ryan Green had it, or didn't have it at the point that he was waiting. He was a decoy there. It's taken away by Trevor Drake. Drake's pass forward is picked off by Green, and he sends it back towards center ice. Two on one the other way, developing late, though. Wrist shot comes in. Good save made there by Pelletier. So a good opening shift by the Terps, and then the Ice Lions take it over. That's right, the Ice Lions, not the Nittany Lions. And yeah, not like many would think, Ice Lions. They've been actually that before this became a Division I program, or there was a Division I program on campus. A couple of chances there right on the doorstep of Pelletier. Says no twice, that time just denying Brian Nelson from the left circle. Looks behind him a little bit, but he gobbled that one up. And it remains scoreless. Shot Open comes a couple in. Of minutes. That one well wide by Alex Connell. He goes back out to the point. Rister comes in. That one wide as well. Comes to the near side boards. Maryland tries to clear. They're able to do so, but this is not going to be easy for Steinberg to chase down. He'll be second there behind Justin Borzanian. Steinberg gets it again. He fires this one in behind the net. Ferry couldn't stop it. Goes back out near the point, and it's flipped forward. Here's a 2-1-2, possibly, for the Ice Lions. Trying to bring it in close with Justin Strobel, but Strobel forced to the left corner. Trying to dig this one out. Terps end up coming up with it. Just passed into the corner. And Maryland will get an opportunity for a change. Shot goes wide. Maryland trying to recover. They cannot do so as this one is poked back to neutral ice. And here's an opportunity for the ice lines the other way. Michael Leone tried to drop a pass into the slot, but nobody there from Penn State as it'll flip back to neutral ice yet again. Zach Good had his pocket picked from behind. Terps get it back in a good spot, trying to find Warner in the slot. That one taken away. And an opportunity to dump the puck in, waved at by Liam Egan. And that's offsides on Penn State. So, yeah, it's going to be a long night with those two. Liam Eden for Maryland is their captain and leading goal scorer. And a fourth liner from Penn State, Liam Egan. Yeah, i say they're pretty similar in names. But how, how about the Terps so far? Their forecheck has looked good. And you saw that shot by Tomaszewski. He's got a, that blistering shot just goes wide. I like the... Offensive play by the Terps just in the opening minutes so far, so we're just getting started, but I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Terps under some duress in their own zone. Jetson Koo with it now. Koo tried to push it forward, had it poke checked away. Here's Egan. Egan trying to find space in the slot, but a really good poke check. And the puck was lost up front. By that was Healy who got it back and ends up behind the net again. Jetson Koo. Getting it to Airy. Airy forced against the boards by Egan. Egan behind the net. Goes to the point for Schumann. Wrist shot. That was blocked. Matt Owens to recover. Goes back to the right point. Joseph Della. Cross ice feed there. Looking for Brian Gertz. Or Brendan Gertz, I'm sorry. And he could not finish on the side. It's Liam Eden. Tries to find his way into the offensive zone. He trucked the guy but lost the puck. Owens goes forward with it. His pass for Egan was intercepted, but then Schumann gets it right back here. Schumann left circle, drifting in a shot, and a nice save by Pelletier off the left pad. Owens behind the net. He goes back in front. Rister comes in. That one deflected off of, looked like Jetson Koo's arm. 15-10 left in the opening period, but a lot of pressure being put on here by the ice lines. A good poke check there to keep the puck away from Joe De Laurentiis. Healy gets it back in the neutral zone. Here's Tucker Healy. Has a chance. A shot. That one went off the mask of Ferry. Talk about using your head. He does make the save. Now Ryan Long starts the charge the other way. Gets it to De Laurentiis. De Laurentiis goes straight around McAvoy. McAvoy did just enough to get in the way and force him into an uncomfortable situation as the puck goes back behind the net for Owens. Owens gets it to Long. And Long is pressed up against the glass. De Laurentiis trying to knife it out. Healy down trying to get it for the Terps. It goes off the stick of McAvoy. Back for Ryan Long. Long flips it towards the right corner for De Laurentiis. De Laurentiis with a pass right in front, but went popped right up off the stick of one of the ice lines down there. You saw in that last back check, 
Terps a little bit slow coming into their defensive zone. I heard Coach Carter yelling, move your feet, move your feet. We a little bit quicker when they head back in. A quick shot, great save by Poitier. Trying to keep the attack alive. Rister comes in from the point that was blocked as good. Tried to fire one in. Back out near center. The ice line's putting on some heavy pressure here because we have under 14 minutes left to play in the opening period. No score so far. We've had definite good opportunities on each side as the pace of this game has been blistering so far. Pass towards the far side. Wrist comes in. Another save made by Poletier. He holds with 13.35, that time denying Michael Leone. Already 13.35 left in this one. It's flying by, not too many stoppages. And as you said a few moments ago, playing at a fast pace. We're looking to get it to the point for good. Ends up behind the net for Leone. Leon swinging around the right circle. He ended up losing the puck. Stays alive, however. Terps got it back, though. They try to flip a pass forward to get something going, but that one was blocked before it got to the newcomer, Zach Brodsky, making his debut for the D2 Terps today. Ends up in the ice line zone. They try to clear. Good sends it around the boards, and now Penn State can clear. Good pass up the right side to get it to Leone. Again, a really nifty move to beat a defender. Leone waiting for some help. Got, finally gets some in the right corner, and now he rips it back to the point. They tried a point-to-point -point pass, but the uh, second point was not occupied by Schumann. He did get a wrist shot in, but it was blocked by Tomaszewski 30 feet before it got to the net. Brodsky, wrist shot in. Easy save made by Ferry as it goes to the right side. Pass around the boards. Brodsky tried to get it back. Went off a Schumann skate for Penn State. Back out to the point. Jets at Coup waves and misses at a shot. Does keep it alive, though, by getting it to Wanner. Wanner directs it in front. McMenamin had a chance to rebound it. Couldn't do it. Now Landon Nguyen with a chance, and that one whizzes wide. Couple of chances there for the Terps, but they can't cash in as the puck goes back out to center ice and into Maryland zone. Big hit there in the near, on the near boards, I'm sorry by Alec Connolly, couldn't win the puck back though, and now Penn State finally does. Connolly goes to the point. Brian Green, D to D pass. Rister comes in, that one blocked. That was good trying to get it, then a second chance, another block. Maryland doing a good job clogging the lanes. That one got through, but a good right pad save by Pelletier. 11.35 left in this opening period, no scores, we're playing a really, really crisp game of hockey here on both sides. Thanks for joining us here on Maryland Hockey Network. Mark McClure and Matt Fusillo on the call from Pagula Ice Arena. Maryland got it back, pass forward, not on target, but ice is going to be waved off because Liam Eden had a really good read on the puck. Egan gets it back, just does a great job shielding. Tried to find Beganowski in the high slot, but that one poked away. Now here's Liam Egan. Egan left dot. He couldn't beat Tomaszewski. Tried to lay it back pass across. And that one went all the way through to the far side. Tucker Healy gets leveled by the Maryland bench. And he ended up losing the puck. Got pinched off of where he was trying to go. Penn State's done a really good job in pinning the Terps players along the boards and freeing up that, that puck off of them and prying it right open. You've got to be careful. Working along the boards, we saw them hit win, and they just had a couple, uh, another one, a couple seconds ago. Terps get it back here with Tucker Healy. Tucker Healy is really an impressive player for the Terps. He's been playing really well, and I think one of the biggest things about him is that he does go both ways. Plays in both the uh, offensive and defensive zones. We see him on both sides play really, really well. And another note about him: if you see number 24 on the ice, that is Tucker Healy because. Uh, he will not be wearing 25 tonight. It's 24, so if you see that, it's Healy. Yeah, he forgot his jersey today, so instead of his normal five, he'll be in 24, which is actually the number of one of his line mates when he was in high school. So that's why he thinks that's why that number got chosen. We're going to have a penalty here in the Maryland zone. See who they get for this one. Looks like it's going to be against Maryland. Check that. It looks like it could this be one's going to be Wong. against 
the captain, Ryan Long. And it's going to be Ryan box. Long going to get uh, going to head for the bin with a hook. So Maryland, a big opportunity here. Their first power play chance uh, with 9.48 left in the opening period. And this could be what the Terps are looking for to jumpstart this offense. They've had plenty of chances, but this could be the one that allows them to break through, but an immediate clear by the ice lines down the ice. Tyler McAvoy to start the rush, gets it over to Tomaszewski, but good forecheck pressure by Penn State. Liam Eden ends up holding the puck. He'll go back to Tomaszewski. Brings it past the center logo. He'll just fire one in off the back boards. Allow Maryland to chase after it. Beganowski nearly got it. Now it's in the corner where it'll be for Tomaszewski. Now to Liam Eden. Eden goes around for Tucker Healy. Healy to the point, McAvoy. McAvoy waits, tried to wrist one in. It got deflected, and that allows the ice lines to go the other way. They'll just fire it down as Brian Nelson had it on his stick. Maryland likes to use the, the two defensemen on the power play, right? I mean, they have quite a few defensemen that are really good at playing the puck in the offensive zone, so you don't really blame the decision-making at all. Tomaszewski and McAvoy are on the power play right now. They're both very good in the offensive zone. McAvoy has two goals this year. Tomaszewski with four as this one flips in near the scorer's table. Actually went into the stands. There is no netting here in the neutral zone areas, only around the back. This is a NCAA arena. So it's not required to have netting all the way around. If there are most community rinks. So that is a possibility at this arena, and that one did go into the stands. 39 seconds left on the long hook. So Maryland brings it back in with Trevor Drake. Drake gets it back to the point for Airy. Airy goes across for Bozin. Back to Airy. Wrists one in and a good glove save by Ferry. Heat 14 left in the period. Terps nothing, Penn State nothing. It's an even game so far, right? I mean, both teams are playing some good hockey right off the get-go. This will be to the left of Ferry, this face off. Uh, won by Maryland. Steinberg had it for a moment, got knocked off his stick and went to Trevor Drake, as a matter of fact. Mirrorhead, uh, gonna play more of a defensive role on this power play. They try to send a pass to the point. That was airy, but too much traffic in front, they couldn't make a play. Drake sends it back in, he is crushed near center ice. Maryland had to tag up, good hit there. And that will do it for the long penalty. He'll head straight for the ice and now ahead for the bench as there was no break opportunity. No offsides here as Penn State enters the zone. Landon Nguyen tried to clear it, ended up losing the puck. And now the ice lions trying to play that heavy four check to get it back. Pass across was deflected. Adam Johnson with it now. Johnson rips one in. That may have been deflected. And a really good reaction there by Pelletier to still make that save because yeah. that looked like it was coming high and immediately went low on him. That's a dangerous redirection. It's really hard for goaltenders to make a save off of that, especially high to low. But he stood the test again, getting that. I believe it was pad on that, but whatever it was, quick reactions, very tough for the goaltender. And now here come the ice lines from behind their own net. Adam Johnson leading the charge forward. Goes left dot, fires one in off the chest protector of Henry Pelletier, and he'll hold for the whistle on this one. 6.48 left in the first period. But talk about two teams. It looks like everybody is really enjoying the way they're playing right now from a pace standpoint. Neither team wants to slow down, and they're not going to, it looks like, here in the first period. Yeah, it's been very back and forth. Even on that Terps power play, they couldn't really get too many Chances generating. Penn State was able to counter back a few times, but yeah, like you said, it's been back and forth. It's been fast paced, everything. Great hockey so far. And no surprise it remains 0 0. Here's Liam Eden, though, in a dangerous spot. He tries to wrist her in. Good save off the chest of Ferry. The clear attempt goes off the stick of McAvoy. He held it in just momentarily, though, and the ice lines do get it to the neutral zone. Liam Eden with a dump in. Healy chasing after it. It's held behind the net. For Wade Ashford. Ashford's pass forward, though, was off target. That allows Maryland to fire it right back into the Penn State zone. 
Nice lines waiting. They're trying to generate a break here, but Penn State was offside, so this will give Maryland a chance to go forward, but they're not waiting for anything as Eden quickly gets it over to Steinberg, but Steinberg has a poke check off of his stick by Zach Good. Now Good Steinberg. battling there by Steinberg along the boards. After a little scrum for the puck, Penn State came out with it, but they lost it in the neutral zone, and Maryland just keeping the heavy pressure on right now. Penn State can't get past center ice. Tomaszewski does it again as he goes right back in behind. Ferry holds it. The weight is this one is backhanded. Ends up going past Liam Egan and all the way down to the other end of the ice. Icing waved off. Pelletier plays it behind the net. Tomaszewski under some pressure there by Brennan Gertz. And Penn State able to hold it on. They try to get it to Kurtz behind the net. Goes to Liam Egan. Swing it back to the point. Shot from Good was deflected by his own man. Gertz backhands one. Tried to send it back around. Ends up going for Thomas Pedersen. Pedersen couldn't clear. And then a slapper goes off of Bosin's skate. Still held here by Penn State, though, with Egan. Egan plays it back. Pass goes just barely behind Matt Owens. And this one goes back into the ice line zone. Forward pass off of Egan. He couldn't find it in his skates. Now here's Owens. Owens hit off the puck there by Tomaszewski as it drifts back towards the Penn State goal. 4-11 left in the first period. No score so far. It's hard to believe Tomaszewski's only a freshman. I mean, he hits. He has a great shot. Trouble here is Ryan Long with a shot on goal. And Pelletier trying to cover. Puck squirts out. McMenamin trying to clear. Heavy pressure here. Owens into the near corner. Goes out to the point for Johnson. Johnson sends it back in. Ryan Long. Long drop pass for Matt Owens. But Maryland all over it. And they're able to try and clear off the boards. Held in one more time by Johnson. Now it does drift to the neutral zone. Now we can get a quick breather. Three and a half left in the opening period. It looks like we're going to get an icing call here against Penn State because that pass came in before the red line. And that will give Maryland a chance for an offensive zone faceoff. Healy against Long Healy wins it, gets it to Liam Eden. But Eden loses it in the right corner. Brian Green taking it away. And we're able to hold it in, though, with Hunter Airy dumping the puck back behind the net. This time Eden does come up with it. Eden wrapping around. He'll fire one across. One does go off the pad of Ferry, but it never really troubled him. Now this one flipped forward. Breakaway chance possibly for Matt Owens, but he was offside because he got caught up in his skates. So a little bit of a snake eye by Liam Eden. He was looking towards the blue line and then fired that one on net without glancing at the goaltender at all. And then Penn State takes it the other way. They're offside. Couldn't control that puck. Came in behind them. Faceoff goes right to Pelletier. He pokes it into the corner to get it out of any trouble. That one goes under the stick, though, at Jetson Koo, and Michael Leone gets it back. Liam Eden takes it away, though, and he uh, circles, looking for a, a pass, gets it to Patrick Beganowski. Beganowski was pinched and cut off the puck, but Airy was there to get it back. Airy goes to Eden right, Dot fires it, and it's in! Goal! In off the corner post! Another rifle by Liam Eden, his 14th of the season. Well, I mean, that shot, do you see that shot? It's one of those that you can never tell if it goes in. I mean, it was just an absolute you do double check gun first, right there. Right? It was a rocket. And it's just a gunshot into the top corner. That was disgusting by Liam Eden right from the right dot. Fires it in, Terps have the lead. Just over two and a half left to play in the period. Man, I mean, he continues to impress game after game. I mean, it really, you say he's the MVP of every game. I mean, he is such a good player. He's got that unbelievable shot. 
And he tallies another goal. That's his 14th of the year and his 26th point in his 13 games. So he's getting double the amount of points than he has in games played this year. Pass across, tipped there by Tyler McAvoy as the Ice Lions want to get one back. That one was deflected on the way. And a rebound, Tant, they scored. Yeah. Brian Nelson on the rebound. And the Ice Lions tie it up. Uh, that lead didn't last long, Matt. No, it did not. I don't even know if that was a minute or so, but Penn State will even things up. You kind of expect an equalizer at some point with how equal this game has been. I mean, 0-0 for a while. Back and forth play. Maryland gets one. Penn State gets one right back. So it was Eden for Maryland. Then moments later, Brian Nelson knocks this game back up at one. We're under two minutes left to play in the period. This one flipped in by Penn State right to Henry Pelletier, and he'll cover that one no problem. 153 left in the period. I think given the fact that it's so back and forth and so fast paced, you gotta be the team that has the puck in the offensive zone more. You gotta be on the attack longer than your opponent. Backhander there right in front. Save made by Pelletier. Now here comes Maryland the other way. Brodsky with a shot save made Ferry. Bozen in the right corner vying for the puck. Goes to Penn State, though, with Wade Ashford. Ashford pushing the puck forward. Here's Gertz. Gertz sent it back there, and that shot was blocked. There's Alexander Riggle trying to get something working. There's Riggle with it again. This time he's hit near the red line, but the puck stays with Penn State. Brian Green. Green a shot. And that was just some catching practice right there for Henry Pelletier. No problem with that one. Just we're under a minute left in the opening period. 1-1 between the Terps and the Ice Lions here at Pagula Ice Arena. McAvoy with it off the faceoff. Trying to get it to Eden. Eden didn't know where the puck was as the two sticks collided there. Maryland wants a penalty there. I think Liam went down. Ice lines with it behind the Maryland net. They try centering pass. That one got under the stick, though, of Delia as it comes back to the neutral zone. Penn State will have to reset themselves with Green. Green's pass intercepted by Blake Warner. Warner dumps the puck in. 22 seconds left in the period. Pressure being put on. Green has to circle behind his own net. Able to get it forward, though, possibly one last rush for the ice lines. Here's Matt Owens on the breakaway. Owens, and he scored. Yeah. Matt Owens, the junior from Westchester, puts it in the back of the net, and the ice lines have the lead with 9.3 seconds left on a clock for Owens, his sixth goal of the season. And Penn State has come roaring back after that Eden goal, and all of a sudden they have the lead. Yeah, those are always the killers. Last seconds of the period, take the lead. As now we get a delayed goal horn for some reason. Also, did fail to mention on that first goal, Nelson, that was his second of the year, and then that one there for Owens was his sixth. As the, the clock will drip down and the horn will sound to indicate the end of the first period. Terps took the lead with under three minutes left in that period on a Liam Eden goal, but all of a sudden Penn State came alive with goals from Brian Nelson and from Matt Owens, and now they have the advantage 2-1. to What did you see in that period there, Matt? Yeah, I mean, I hate to sound like a broken record, but it was fast-paced. It was a good period by the Terps. Just that second goal is really going to be a killer. So, got to keep your heads up in the locker room. I, I like the way they're playing. I think they're playing some good hockey. Um, maybe it wasn't a full 20-minute period as they would have liked, but you know, it felt like they started to get a little bit slow at times, but you know, overall, you can't really complain. You got to come back and uh, you know come out flying in the second period. So we'll take a break here for the intermission on Maryland Hockey Network. Terps trail 2-1 against the Penn State University Ice Lions here in State College. We'll be back after the intermission.
And welcome back to Pagula Ice Arena here in State College, Pennsylvania. Mark McClure, Matt Fusillo on the call here for you from Happy Valley, or Hockey Valley, I guess as they call it, here at Pagula Ice Arena as we're just about ready for the second period of play to get underway. Terps trailing 2-1 to one here against the Penn State University Ice Lions. Goals in that period were from Matt Owens and Brian Nelson for Penn State. Liam Egan had the tally for Maryland as they'll quickly fire one off the stick of Ferry. And we are underway in period number two. Matt, what is the big thing you're looking for from Maryland in this period? You know, I said it in the first period. I think Maryland really has to have more possession on the, you know, have more possession in the offensive zone, be on the attack more. I feel like such an even game so far, you want to be as here's. Oh, nearly a chance for Beganowski. Had a chance to dispossess one of the defenders for Penn State. And it looked like it was actually Michael Leone that was holding the puck there on the right wing. And it was nearly a breakaway for Beganowski, but he could not control the puck and it ended up being offsides against the Terrapins. But as I was saying, I, I think you really just gotta have possession of the puck more, it's that simple. You're down two to one, and it's a fast paced game, so you wanna be the team that has the puck and is on the attack and is peppering the opposing goaltender. And I feel like they've gotten some high danger threats, but they could definitely use some more. The Ice Lions settling it down, Delia with the pass forward. It's taken away nearly by Maryland. Now here's a 2-1-1 for the Ice Lions. Chance in front, and it goes high there from De Laurentiis. He got right in front, had an opportunity to pass, went with the shot, could not find a target. Now Maryland trying to get something going with a 2-1-2 chance. Depoy rifles one off the glass. Get it back, gets it back, though. He tries to find Trevor Drake. Drake with it, the turnaround shot, wanted a deflection from Muirhead, and it went wide. Three on two here for Penn State. De Laurentiis into the slot. Got it back, and he was checked off by McAvoy as Matt Owens tried to feed it back to him. Ends up going into the Penn State bench. We're going to face off in the neutral zone. 18-28 left in period number two. Faceoff goes to Penn State. Ice lines, this is to Karchik. Slapper from the point, goes off the boards. Ends up going to the near side. Penn State will have to recover it in the neutral zone. Adam Johnson. As we're going to get an icing call here against Penn State. Looks like we have an ice line lumber into the bench there slow, and that is Justin Bornese, and, and he is uh, look, a, look a little shaken up down there. Faceoff will go to the left of Ferry. Maryland's got the top line out there. It's one by Healy. Rister comes in from Ray McNamara, and that one sticked up and off the boards by Ferry. Comes to the near side, here comes Penn State. Here's Michael Leon. Leon drifting in, trying to reach shot, ends up in front, a great backhanded pass from Tkarczyk, trying to find Steve Avellino, and he could not put one on net. A couple good passes there by Penn State, trying to go tic-tac-toe a little bit, but that second pass couldn't quite get through. McAvoy being hounded, he turns it over, here's Tkarczyk. The car chick sends it to the high slot and it's taken away. Here's Beganowski waiting, fires it, but he ends up missing the puck there on that effort. Healy got it back, two ice lines collide. Eden trying to keep it alive. Here's Beganowski a chance and a pad save made by Ferry. It's flipped to the blue line. Held in though by McAvoy, goes to Eden. Eden hits a weird one towards the front of the net that may have been deflected and it could not find the back of the net. I think Beganowski had time and space as that puck rattled loose to him, but he elected to take a slapper right on goal. He could have walked in a little bit if he chose to, but maybe he thought the goalie was off guard since it was that loose puck. Either way, Tripp's still down by one. They'll get a face off to Peltier's left. 16.56 left in the second period. 
It'll be Warner against Gertz, the fourth line centers uh, for this faceoff. It's won by Penn State. Egan in the right corner, maintaining, looking for a pass. He'll go with a backhander to the far side. Pass across ice here. Delia with a one time and a really nice save by Pelletier. Shot comes in from the point that was redirected, but it went wide. Delia has it back. Delia marching right in front. A great pass in front for Gertz, but he couldn't put it on net. Penn State with some heavy pressure. Riggle sends it behind the Maryland net. It'll be backhanded and played there by Pelletier. Maryland will scoop this one towards the neutral zone. Joseph Delia takes it there, plays it off the boards, gets it to Egan. Egan near side. Backhands one in the slot, but no one there. That's an easy take for Thomas Pedersen, but Pedersen's pass goes through everybody that's going to be icing against the Terps. Pedersen a little frustrated off that one. Two, one, Penn State. Just a touch over 16 minutes to play. Face off to the right of Pelletier as Warner digs in. One by Penn State, a quick shot. It was blocked though Good by block. Tomaszewski. Maryland trying to clear, they can't. Then a redirection in front, they score! Penn State, it's Justin Strobel, his second goal of the season. Is that third line coming up big for Penn State? It is three to one. Great play there by the sophomore on the redirect. Nice Lions now with a two goal cushion, 15-52 left in the second period. Yeah, you really gotta stiffen things up here before it gets out of hand. Penn State now has three unanswered goals. So you gotta get the offense going and counter. You also tighten up the defense a little bit. Here's Depoy. Depoy trying to find Drake high slot. Ends up at Jetson Koo. Swings and misses at that effort now. One on one here for Penn State. Pass goes across and a great save by Pelletier denying Alec Connolly. It's a good play by the Ice Lions too. A good saucer pass right across. And not sure if he got that out of midair or not, but it's a good save by Pels as they call him. And he's uh, been really good tonight for the most part. Face off coming out the neutral zone. All three of those goals really tough for him to save. A breakaway, a rebound, and a redirection. De Laurentiis has the backhand one to the point. Terps get it for just a moment as Brodsky ended up having it for just a moment. Then he lost it in the neutral zone. They'll give Brodsky a second chance, but this time it flies up off of his stick. And we got a whistle here. Yeah, Peltier is dealing with some heckling as well, so he's able to uh, cancel that out. I mean, and he again, he's the type of guy that relishes those types of situations. I think he Pelletier. likes it. it. It feeds into his energy, so. He's a high energy guy, and he knows. Uh, yeah, they're only he helping him. So uh, we'll see how that affects him, but Pelletier is one of those guys that's just so even keeled when he's on the ice and plays with a lot of energy. Our cameraman, Kyle Abosh, teammates with Henry, just said it drives him. So there, you heard it from a teammate himself. Ice Lions trying to keep this attack alive, but De Laurentiis is passed to the point. Ends up popping up off the stick of good. Terps try to generate something, but instead they'll actually go for a change as they dump the puck in behind Ferry. Bornazian is trying to start the rush. He Terps got it back near the blue line. Eden stood up by Owens. Beganowski forces it behind the net. Healy does a good job to avoid one hit, but the second was unavoidable. And Penn State got it back just for a moment, though, as it goes to the stick of Tyler McAvoy. Now this is Liam Eden trying to battle for the puck as it goes to the right corner, but Eden was tripped up there, and that is going to be a penalty. It will be a slash against the Ice Lions. Try not to laugh at some of these heckles, but just a fool trying to get in the goaltender's head. 
Zach, good to the box. Two minutes for a slash. So 13.48 left in the period of Maryland. We've got another chance to go on the power play. Here's Healy with it. Nearly had a poke checked away, and now it does go to the near boards, but it couldn't be controlled by Nelson as he went tumbling into the boards. And here's McAvoy. McAvoy, pass across for Tomaszewski. Right dot, they send it across looking for Eden that time. That went underneath his stick, but Eden does keep the attack alive. Be really nice if the Terps can cash in here. I know it's pretty obvious to say, but. They got a chance though with a pass in front. Beganowski has had too much mustard on it though. Back at the point for McAvoy, and then now for Tomaszewski, but he did not get good lumber on that one-timer attempt. It goes down to the other end. There's a good clear. Plenty A have to play it off the stick. And he'll pass it forward. He was looking to try and start something quickly. He may be able to do so as it gets to Beganowski. But a good close down there by the Ice Lions. Forces the puck back behind the net. Delia tried to get it to De Laurentiis. Picked back off by Maryland. And now Beganowski with a chance. His shot goes wide. Here's Healy. Healy circling. Pass in front. Beganowski was redirected a couple of times but went wide. 12 and a half. Left in the period. 45 seconds on the power play. A couple of chances there again, but Ferry holds strong. Maryland's first line's been out there for pretty much this entire power play, but they have yet to find the back of the net. Now McAvoy goes back to Eden. That one redirected again. That's time by Healy, but that one went high. Eden. Waits goes to Healy. Healy, Rister. That one goes off the glove of Ferry, kept alive by Tomaszewski. Good, just keep shooting while you can. 15 seconds left on the power play. Here's Healy to McAvoy in the right dot. He had no shooting lane, so he's got to go back to Healy. Now across for Liam Eden. Eden waiting. Wrist one wide. Three seconds left on the power play, and then McAvoy is dispossessed of the puck, and that will put an end to uh, this power play chance. But right out of the box, we'll get an offside on Zach Good, who was trying to get in front or behind. Maryland defense, I should say. Yeah, we've seen that twice this game by Penn State, trying to etch their way into the zone as close as they can. But they're too quick at times, so it's easy call for the Here's official. Here's Steinberg. Yeah. Got a good wrist shot chance there from the right circle, but a nice glove save by Joshua Ferry. Steinberg blazing through. You like to see that. You want to see that for more of the Terps players. Face-off goes Penn State's way. The ice lines, they try to get up the ice really quickly. They're motoring right now. As Tkarczyk had the puck directed in front and a good save by Pelletier. Face-off will go to his left. 11.25 left in the period. 3-1. Ice Lions have the edge. The near side, here comes Penn State, trying to win the puck back, they do. Michael Leone, Leone, tries to pass in front, looking for Tkarczyk. Leone still has it though, this time we'll just try a wrister there as he wrapped all the way around it, went high and wide. Green kept it alive, swings it around the boards. Adam Johnson, and a pass into the center, intercepted by Bozen, a two on two for the Terps, but Bozen just fired in as the Terps wanted to get a change. Get that third line on of Meerhead, Drake, and Depoy. You saw Brodsky on that last line, That's number the second 26. Line, actually. Yeah, number 26, Zach Brodsky, playing with Bozen and Steinberg, who's Wilson. I think he's injured or is he sick? I think he's hurt. I think Wilson's hurt right now, was the current, what we've been told. So, so normally uh, Wilson would be in that line, but you got Brodsky in there tonight. Now it also has an extra skater in Alex Detita. And he, uh, we've not seen much of him today. Joe Carter has stepped with the main lines for the most part. Yeah, just hit a number 33 playing that floating defenseman role, as we like to call that, the seventh defenseman. Normally doesn't really see the ice too much in that role. Nelson denied by Pelletier with a big glove hand. That one had the top corner written all over it, but Pelletier with the denial exactly halfway through period number two. 
Got a little bit of a dust up too. Meerhead in the thick of it. We weren't sure if he was going to play today since he got ejected from last week's game. And the ACSA rules, if you get ejected, you automatically get a one-game suspension. But it seemed like that one was a little bit different, right? It was strange. The referees kept meeting to talk about it, and we weren't sure if he was going to get kicked or not. So I'm not sure what the ruling was on that. But either way, he's playing tonight in the center of that dust up. And a lot of these players like to get into it on the Terps. Happened to Mirhead that time. Icing on the, ter on the Terrapins. So we'll come back to Pelletier's left, 952 left in the period. Faceoff goes to the Ice Lions. Nelson couldn't control it. Landon Nguyen with a chance to clear. One goes off a skate of Borzanian. Ice Lions get it back. Bornazian, pass into the high slot. Nelson, pass into the center though, it was not clean. Terps take it away with Landon to win, but that one flies off of his stick, couldn't control it. McAvoy loses his footing here, but Ray McNamara there to back him up. McAvoy with the pass forward, looking for Eden, a really good stick in there from Bornazian again. He's playing some good hockey, he did go off earlier, looked like he may have been hurt, but he looks no worse for wear. Yeah, McAvoy's trying to sneak that puck right through. Another nice move by Bornesia, and a good shift by him so far. Now here's Liam Eaton, surrounded by white jerseys. He's got nowhere to go, all five ice lines surrounding him, so he just has to dump the puck in as he waits for reinforcements to come from the bench. He couldn't quite pull off a Connor McDavid like we saw against the Jets. <laughs> Taking on the whole team. That's going to be offside, though. As a Beganowski just barely let that one get over the line. Only one goal this period so far from Justin Strobel, second of the season on a redirect. So it's 3-1 Ice Lions. Quick shot in here from a different area code. Tomaszewski, easy save from Ferry. So we'll get Healy number 24 on the faceoff. First line out there, apart from Eden, who is uh, on the bench currently, as Mirrorhead's going to get a top, chance to work with the top line. And Pedersen working with Tomaszewski in the back end. Mirrorhead trying to clear, held in by the Ice Lions. They have their top unit on with Ryan Long. Trying to make something happen there. Puck goes into the corner there, then it's popped up right in front. Matt Owens was right on the welcome mat, and it was actually a great job, great hand-eye coordination from Henry Pelletier to get a glove on that. He didn't hold it for long, but he got the whistle. Good hand-eye coordination. What really impresses me about Pelletier is his reactions. I mean, so many plays, he has quick reactions. I know it's an important trait for goaltenders to have, but Pelletier especially, I mean, he's been really, really strong with that. Face-off one by Maryland in their own zone. Jetson Koo plays it off the boards for Airy. Airy has it taken away, however. A little pass there, tried to almost play it off the back of the skate of Pelletier. Ends up going to the neutral zone. Brodsky chasing after it. Brodsky, Bosin, Steinberg on the ice currently for Maryland, the forward unit. Puck comes to the near boards. Chance right in front for Penn State. They wrap it around and they scored. Michael Leone on the wraparounder. 4-1 Ice Lions. That's a nifty move by Leone. Thought he was going to shoot on his way in, did a wraparound, and tucks it right past Peltier. And it makes it a 4-1 hockey game. Leon, that'll be his fourth of the season. And it, it makes it four goals for Penn State in this game, and they have a comfortable advantage now. But we have seen the Terps put on some impressive comebacks this season. We'll see if one of those is in the cards here. Yeah, they've had better comes back, comebacks before, excuse me. So 
If you're Maryland, you've got to keep your head in this one. It's nowhere near over. Here's Trevor Drake with it. Drake, great pass to the point. They sent it across looking for Detitta. He's on the ice, but it went past him. Drake gets it back. Centers it for DePoy. DePoy trying to find it. Goes for Detita backhander. Save made by Ferry. Working on a clear Nelson. Took a spill there, but they got it back now. Here's a three on one for Penn State, but they're offsides. Delia was just in front of yeah, Strobel, that was and close. that's going to draw the whistle. Very close. Seven oh six uh, on the clock. Apologize for our clock on the screen. I'm not sure why it was so off about that, but we just fixed it. There is about seven minutes remaining, not six thirty. Ends up behind for Tomaszewski. But goes for Healy. Tomaszewski backhands it along. Not much doing there for Maryland on the way in. Penn State takes it back. They send it behind Pelletier. He holds it there for Tucker Healy. Healy does a great job to avoid Liam Egan as he was coming in. Bornese and that one went off of his skate. He kept it alive. He's a back in the neutral zone. Bornese flips one into the right corner. Chased after by Egan. Going across the boards. Now here's Maryland in a two on one. Great move by Healy. Healy waiting. Healy gets right in front, lays it back for Beganowski. His shot was blocked. Still loose in front. A chance for Healy. Two chances for Healy. And both saved by Joshua Ferry. And Ferry's playing a good game, too. Boy, one of the better chances the Terps have had. This game, they kept whacking at that puck. It was pinballing around. And they were able to find it loose a few times, but couldn't tuck it home. That's the only thing they were missing there. Played a very solid game so far. I mean, the one goal he gave up, could have put Marty Brodeur in that, and he wasn't saving that shot from Liam Eaton. Yeah, I mean, that shot. It's one of the better shots we've seen this year from either team. Now there's a two-on-one developing for Penn State. It's long. And Owens, they get it to Owens. Owens tried to bring it around to drop that one in. But a good job by Pelletier just to take up as much space as possible. De Laurentiis gets it to Long. Long poked it forward. And that one may not even have hit his stick in the end. Jetson Koo checked off the puck. Looking to get it back to Long. This one goes off the skates of Airy. And now here's a three on two for the Terps. Mirrorhead brings it past the blue line. Land in the wind, but they went for a change and that hurt that Maryland attack. Ends up still with a chance, however, and landing the win, but that puck goes flying over the net and into the left corner. You know, another thing, I'd like to see Maryland get a little bit more physical. You know, Penn State is really cranking in the hits. Maryland's not really retaliating at all. Obviously, you want to stay out of the box, but, I mean, we've seen this Terps team hit a lot more than they are tonight, so I feel like they got to improve in that category as well. But the most important thing is scoring because they're down by three goals. Definitely going to want one at least in the period just to go in on a high note. They have a little under five minutes to do that. Rister from McMenamin is wide, and then uh, Wanner, or Wanner, I'm sorry, is hit down there behind the Penn State net. Ice Lions trying to get it back. Wanner retaliates with a nice hit there, however, but he could not dispossess one of the Ice Lions. Now here comes Penn State. They switch the ice so quickly, it's their superpower at this point. This was backhanded across there by Steve Avellino looking for Tekarczyk. Going the other way, McMenamin. It looks like he drew a penalty, and he did. Call a slash. So a third chance for Maryland on the power play. As this time, it's going to be Nate Schumann heading to the box for a slash. They could have called them penalty state at this point, but Terps aren't cashing in on the power play. So you got to be able to score. This is the third power play there, 0 for 2 so far. McAvoy sends it across for Tomaszewski. Tomaszewski sends one in. He was looking for a redirect. It went all the way through. Clean save made Ferry. And then we'll have another penalty coming up here against Penn State. This time a cross check. 
So this was the biggest chance for Maryland all evening. Looks like it'll be Brian Green, so both A's are in the box. Green and Schumann, this time it's a cross check. Five on three for the Terrapins, and they get it yeah, for a I mean, minute and 49 seconds. They can't be turned away here, simple you, as that. You have got to score here. You have got to score. It's been four unanswered for Penn State. Long talk here. I don't think that that call was liked very much by head coach Chris Cunningham of the Ice Lions. Just trying to get an immediate clear, and they're able to do so. Three fifty-five left in the period for Maryland. Trying to cut into this deficit before they go to the intermission. A big hit there on the far side as McAvoy was hammered. Here comes uh, Healy. A wrist shot comes in. I'm not sure Ferry even knew it was there, but he managed to make the save off the glove. Tomaszewski gets to Eden. Over to McAvoy. To Healy. Healy goes behind the net. Looking for a good pass. He'll go back to Liam Eden. Eden in good space. Wrist shot save made Ferry. Still held by Maryland. They try to go across the crease there. Trying to get it to Beganowski. And now here's a two-on-one chance for Penn State. Wrist shot. They scored. Are you kidding me? Adam Johnson scores a shorthanded goal when Penn State was down two men. Unbelievable play by Adam Johnson, his second goal of the season. The senior with a tremendous play. Thought he was going to pass it there at the two-on-one open. Could have done either one, shoot or a pass. He decided to shot, and he roofed that one home. And this is now a four-goal game. That's just a backbreaker for Maryland. You get a five-on-three, you think it's your avenue back into the hockey game. And then all of a sudden, Adam Johnson comes down, just takes advantage of Maryland getting caught watching a little bit. Got a loose puck near the neutral zone and just drifted in and scored, did it all himself on a five-on-three for Maryland. Penn State takes it. Now here's another chance for the Ice Lions. Another wraparound, or this is long, long wrist one in save made there by Pelletier. Eight seconds left on the five on three. And Maryland have an additional 15 seconds of five on four. Long. Gets the puck back in the neutral zone. Pass four, that one went under the skate, though. One of the ice lines, that was Nate Schumann. Terps get it back. The penalty box has emptied for both. Schumann and Green and Maryland not only was turned away on that five on three, they gave up a goal. Clock drifts under two minutes. It's 5 1 Ice Lions. Comes Penn State again looking threatening. To Karchek, gets it to Leon. Warner took it back though. Warner brings it forward. He lost his footing, however, and gets it to Green. with the puck now, flips it to center. We got under the stick of Ray McNamara, icing waved off because McNamara attempted to play the puck. Ray McNamara trying to dig this puck loose, ends up going to the point. Ashford, Rister, high and wide. This is Avellino. Avellino sent it to the point. Minute and three seconds left in the period. Penn State trying to just add it on. Now they have a chance in front. Really nice move there by Leone, but this time he could not finish. Pelletier says no. To Karchek, tries to backhand it in front. Gets it back, though. On the far side. Sends it to the point. One-timer saved by Pelletier off the blocker. Finally, the Terps will take it the other way as Landon Wynn will dump the puck in and the Terps will get a change. 32 seconds left in the period. One last chance, perhaps 16.9 left in the period. Face off. 
goes to Maryland. Maryland tries to get it to clear off as this heavy pressure being put on by Penn State. Two seconds left in the period. He goes out to the far boards. That'll get Maryland what they were looking for to the end of the period. All zeros on the clock, and Penn State flexing their muscle here in that period. They scored three goals. They've now scored five straight unanswered. Goal scorers in that period. Leon Strobel and Johnson were the three goal scorers for Penn State, and they now lead five to one. We'll see what the talk is for Joe Carter's group. Joe Carter's particularly going to see how his group responds in the third period. But either way, Terps trailing big here at Pagula Ice Arena, and it just has been, I think, really Penn State's speed. They just kept the speed up in that period, and their ability to switch the ice has been amazing from one end to the other, and Maryland's just kind of been caught flat-footed. The speed, the physicality, I mean, you want to they're starting to run away with it. The first period was so even, and then you, you get those goals and by Penn State. And keep in mind, Maryland hasn't even taken a penalty at all yet this game, and it's 5-1 Penn State. So I think the Terps are slow to their feet, and you keep hearing uh, Coach Carter yell, move your feet, move your feet, we, more so in the first period, but I think they got slower in the second as well. Um, but that's besides the point. I think this team is too slow to the puck, in the last 20 minutes, they got to come out faster in the third. So we'll take a break here on the Maryland Hockey Network. Terps trailing 5-1 here in Happy Valley. We'll be back for the start of the third after the intermission. This is Terps Hockey on the Maryland Hockey Network.
Back here on the Maryland Hockey Network, Mark McClure, Matt Fusillo, along with our tremendous cameraman, Kyle Abosh. We're here from Pagula Ice Arena, State College. It's been all ice lines pretty much since the two-minute mark of the, sec of the first period. Maryland got a goal from Liam Eaton. They actually opened the scoring in this game, but then just an offensive explosion from uh, Penn State. They have scored five unanswered goals. Nelson, Owens, Strobel, Leone, and Johnson, the goal scorers for Penn State. Liam Eaton is the only one that's found the back of the net for the Terrapins, but they'll try and change the narrative here in the third period as we're underway from Hockey Valley. Here comes Strobel, one of the goal scorers for Penn State. He drops the, the puck back for Nelson. Wrist shot from a tight angle, save made. Pelletier goes behind the net. And... Penn State thought they scored. Whistle went. That may have come off its moorings. Either way, it'll just be a face-off to the left of Henry Pelletier. Tip to see where that puck was. We couldn't really see it from our vantage point. Ends up going right in front. Pelletier has to cover again as Strobel is coming in hot. Trying to jam the puck in. 23 seconds into the period. Penn State keeping the pressure on Maryland. Definitely not taking their foot off of the gas. Strobel with the puck left corner. Strobel waiting. Tries to get it to Nelson. That one deflected nicely, though, by Tomaszewski. Eden, the long pass off the high, off the high boards. Healy trying to recover it. Schumann plays it around the boards. It'll be taken there by Tomaszewski. Rich shot. That one never got to Ferry. Bad pass, though. Eden with a chance. First time denied, second time fanned on the shot. Comes the other way. Strobel lost his footing. And now Tomaszewski can bring it forward for the Terps. Tomaszewski circling back, looking for a pass towards Healy. That one went off of his stick, and then Joseph Delia could take it from there. Schumann with a great pass. Here's Owens, good poke check by Ray McNamara. They try to find Owens again at the back stick, and he could not direct it in on an open cage. A great pass, though, there by Long. At the point, Green fires one right into the glove of Henry Pelletier. He was waiting for it, and he waits for the whistle. 18-23 left in the game. Even the start of the third period, Penn State still quicker as the puck. They got the faster legs. Got to be able to catch up if you're Maryland. McAvoy. You know, he has it taken away by De Laurentiis. McAvoy holding the puck currently. He just quickly changes direction. Backhands one and ends up going off the skates of Depoy. Depoy still gets it, though, and is able to get it over to Drake, but then Drake shoved off the puck as it goes into the ice line zone. Delia plays it around for De Laurentiis. Ends up at the stick of green. He rifles it towards or near the Penn State bench. De Laurentiis gets it back. And then it's just fired forward. Penn State will get a change. They will not get a change, actually, because icing will prevent them from doing so. Faceoff will come way back into the ice line zone. 5-1 Penn State. 17-49 left in the third period. Reminder, these teams back in action again tomorrow at 2 p.m. here at Pagula Ice Arena. We'll have it here for Maryland Hockey Network. And that may be a game where the Terps are looking for revenge unless they flip the script quickly. Here's Jason Steinberg. Wrist shot, great glove save. Made by Ferry. Now here's Penn State again with a break chance. Wrist shot high and wide. Steinberg with another opportunity to bring it forward. Another wrist shot and another save made by Ferry. And this time he will hold for the whistle. So a couple of shots there for Maryland. Steinberg put in a good shift, but still could not beat Joshua Ferry. The freshman has been fantastic in this game. And he's been that all year with two games played this year. He's got a goals against average of one half and a save percentage that is just a tad under 
Puck goes out here to Avellino. Avellino brings it in, but Penn State clearly offsides on that effort. Yeah, I think it would be an understatement to say that Joshua Ferry has been good. I mean, he's been outstanding, making good saves. He's also got the quick reactions. It looks like he kind of gives them a little bit of net to shoot at. And then right when the Terps do take the shot, he just quickly whips up his glove and catches it for the whistle. I've seen that a few times tonight, but, I mean, he's been really good. And he's been really good all year, not just tonight. This Penn State team has a lot of goaltenders, so he only gets part-time action, but he is tremendous when he gets a chance to step on the ice. In the Maryland zone, Penn State trying to win this back. They're able to do so. Goes out to the point. Going to get a penalty here. Actually going to get a penalty here. That was to Karchek on the shot. Check the call. Interference. Maryland's staying in the zone, but none of the Terrapins are going off the ice. So I don't think even the Terrapins know who this penalty is on. Oh, they got Blake Warner for it. This, this kid just can't seem to stay out of the box. Maryland's first penalty of the game, so they'll have to go on the kill for the first time. But Yeah, I mean, it's their first penalty of the game. But I mean, Penn State has had three in that second period and then another one in the first. So they'll get their first time on the PP, Penn State, that is. Wrist shot came in there from Schumann. It was deflected. Schumann gets it back here. Schumann with a horrible pass that was intercepted by Liam Ede. Not sure what Schumann was thinking there. Kind of got caught between a pass and a shot. So they'll have to start from behind. Schumann gets it to De Laurentiis. Skipping up ice. De Laurentiis right in front, crashing, and he scores! Joe De Laurentiis makes it six. They got a touchdown for Penn State. Seventh goal of the season for De Laurentiis, and we have a 6-1 hockey game. That was some impressive skating by Joe De Laurentiis. Good skating, good goal. He's able to tuck that one in. Working his way in and right side, goes left side. We've seen Penn State do well with their transitions all night from side to side, whether that's in the shot or their passing, and they do it again there. As you said, they got a touchdown on the night. Wiley veteran, De Laurentiis Sr. from Warrington. Now with his seventh goal, as the puck is in the near corner, Terps trying to clear. They do not, as it's held in by Brandon Gertz. Ends up in the neutral zone, then ends up back in the Maryland zone. Gertz chases this one down in the corner, tried to send this one back for Liam Egan. Gertz and Egan pass back and forth. Even Ray McNamara workout goes to the point. Flipped around by Ashford. Rister from Egan and a good pad save by Pelletier. Penn State still with possession behind Pelletier's net. Centered in front, right on the doorstep, and another nice save by Henry Pelletier. That time it was Riggle on the shot. 15-01 left in the third period. 6-1 Penn State. Face off to the left to Palladier, won by Maryland. Penn State from the right dot. Delia couldn't hang on to it. Stays with the Nittany lines, or the ice lines, I should say, however. Here's Eden as he won the puck back. Eden tried to get a pass forward to Veganowski. It was intercepted, but then Tucker Healy intercepts it, gets it back for the Terps. To Tomaszewski. Tomaszewski dumps this one in to the ice line zone. Eden to chase after it. Got underneath his stick, though, and a chance to start a rush the other way. This is Nelson. Got it to Connolly. Went back for Delia, and it goes into the Maryland zone. Strobel gets it right in front. 
for Nelson. A second chance gets popped right up in front after a nice save by Pelletier on the original attempt. Eden the other way. Works his way into the Penn State zone. Try to pass back for Beganowski. Intercepted by the Ice Lions. Adam Johnson. Try to get it for Nelson. Went under his skate, and it will be held by Thomas Pedersen in the neutral zone. Tomaszewski flips this one in. Johnson will take it. Waitson goes with the pass forward. Gets under the stick of Avellino. But it is in the Maryland zone. Now it drifts towards neutral ice, and it will be taken by Hunter Airy. Airy was trying to get it to Brodsky, but he wasn't ready for the puck. I go from one side to the other. No icing called here. Jetson Koo plays it. It ends up at Green at the blue line. Green passes it off. Now to Johnson. Johnson being walled off there by Brodsky. Did end up giving it up, however. Now the puck attempted to go back to the point. Was tipped and flipped all the way back into the ice line zone. Green does a good job to avoid one check. That'll be flipped forward. Here comes Avellino. I'd like to see Brodsky attacking that puck like he did there. First game in the D3, D2 lineup. You want to see him make his impact, and he did there. Good play by Brodsky to really chase that puck. Nice lines with the puck. Avellino passes it to Tkarczyk. Tkarczyk with a great pass. Leon, a great move, and he scores. Michael Leon has two, and Penn State has the extra point. It's seven to one. That was a beautiful feed by the freshman, Don, John Tkarczyk. And Aiden Jones is going to get called into this one. Pelletier's night will be done. And he is not happy. So Jones will step in as Leon has his second and his fifth on the season. 7-1 Penn State, 12.30 left to play in the third period. Assist on that one from John Tkarczyk. He's long, tries to go through Ray McNamara there as the net will come off its moorings. At this point in the game, 12-19 left, you're down six goals. I think even though a comeback is very unlikely, it's important to still play your best hockey the rest of the night because you got another game tomorrow. The same rink, same team. It's a matinee game as well, so it's not like it's a nighttime game. You, you got less time to yeah, prepare. It's, it's a quick turnaround. I think it's a two o'clock puck drop. You, you got to be able to finish this game strong. You can't just say whatever and, you know. Right in front, Penn State hits the post. Got a second chance, and Jones stood tall on that one. Penn State nearly made it an eighter. The shot comes in. That one deflected high over the net. De Laurentiis, another save made by Aiden Jones. It's been tested early here in this appearance. Whoever's working the score clock has got to get the clock going. I apologize earlier. I don't think that was us. Yeah, 12-19 left on the clock stand. So it looks like we'll play about 61 minutes of hockey tonight. Penn State sends it to the point. Ooh, it goes off the skate of is it Bornazian down there. Couldn't control it. And it's back to the neutral zone. They got the clock working now, so we'll start at 12.05. Yeah, about a little bit, of, a minute extra, so. Penn State keeping heavy pressure on here is Liam Egan. Egan waiting behind for Jones. Try to wrap around her. Was cut off by DePoy. This one just into the high slot. I like to see that by the Terps. You, you attempt that Michigan goal when you're up 7-1, to one, go after them. Get physical after them. This is going to be offsides against uh, Maryland. But, but I think you made a really accurate point there about just still playing the last 11-39. We saw Maryland kind of get down against Delaware, and they really folded in that game. They, they got down a few, and then it turned into a 13-4 route before anyone blinked. And I think in this one they've got to stay strong because they know they got this same team tomorrow, and they need to prove that they're, this is more than just going to be a two-game easy stretch for the Ice Lions. Yeah, and about that Michigan goal that Penn State attempted, you're up 7-1. to one. If you, One of those 
Penn State players tries that, I'd go after him myself. I'm glad to see two Terps players, not just one, go right after. I couldn't see which which players were involved, but I mean that's a you know you want to attempt that, then you got to face the consequences. Penn State bringing it forward with Nelson. It ends up going off his stick and straight to Jetson Koo. Goes down to the other end of the ice as Trevor Drake was hit hard here against the near boards. Looks like we may get a penalty call. Looks like we will not actually going to be an icing on Maryland. 11.02 left, final period of play, 7-1 Penn State. Goes out to the point, one-timer right into the glove of Aiden Jones by Schumann. Another stop as we'll get another quick face-off. Face off to the right of Jones. Ends up going off the far boards. Beganowski gets it to the neutral zone. It's fired right back in off the stick of Aiden Jones. Get it up to Liam Eden. Eden hit from behind. He lost the puck. This is Connolly. Connolly looking for Nelson. Nelson gets it back in the right circle. Can't get a shot off. Connolly tries to direct it towards the crease. And is forced away by Jones. And now it goes to center. Here's Eden. You know what he can do in open space. Liam Eden. That was well defended there by Schumann. And then he's hit. Eden is hit there against the boards as it goes back into the Penn State zone. Ice lines take it forward. Schumann couldn't control that. He gets hit in neutral ice. This looks like it's going to be against Maryland, and it will be. I don't know how good of a call that is. I mean, they're just going for a loose puck and they bump into each other. We said they're going to get Pedersen for interference. I can only imagine is the call here. I think that's a little bit ridiculous. They're just going after the loose puck and they happen to bump into each other. So they're going to get Pedersen for one. That's a tough, it, it's a tough play. You have two guys going for the puck. They can't really say Penn State has a right to that, and that, that, that wasn't uh, away from the puck. So that's a tough break for Maryland, but they'll have to send the kill unit out for the second time. As they'll wait from behind the net, and here comes Schumann. Schumann to De La Rennes, to the left dot. Fires one in off of Jones's pad. Was looking for a rebound chance, but it didn't materialize. And Maryland will clear air mail special. Schumann has to start from his own goal again. A bad pass there was nearly intercepted. And then they will end up losing the puck as Tomaszewski is able to fire it back in off the pad of Ferry. Schumann. Pass hops over the skip, the stick there of Leon. And now here is the attack with Matt Owens. Owens brings it behind the net. Eden and Owens jockeying for it. Maryland tries to clear. It's held in. And uh, looks like we had a little ruckus behind the net between Owens and Eden. Owens claiming that Eden was holding the stick. That's what killed the play. 51 seconds left on the Pedersen penalty. Looks like it was actually because the net came off the mooring. It was the real true reason for the stoppage of play. So the faceoff will actually come out of the Maryland zone to neutral ice. And we'll get Brendan Gertz against uh, Blake Warner. You know, if it's a 7-1 game, I feel like even if you can make it 7-2, finish it off like that. It's still momentum in the right direction after considering you know, the last 40 minutes or so that this team has played. At least get a goal back on the board and try to let Penn State score again. Going to tomorrow, getting that last goal, it makes a big difference. Here's Delia. Passes it across. Nelson. Gets it back after a quick one, two. Connolly. That's for Strobel. Back to Connolly again. 
Nelson, Delia shot, deflected. Second chance, couldn't get a shot on goal. Now Connolly pinned against the boards by Warner. Penn State gets it back, however. Ice Lions set it up. Pass across for Nelson, and it was blocked by McAvoy. Delia does a good job to avoid a hit at the blue line from McMenamin, but his pass goes underneath the stick of his teammate, Gertz. There's Delia in the neutral zone. Has it lost off of his stick, but he recovers it in his own zone. Now be pressured by Bozin. Pass forward for Connolly. Connolly brings it past the blue line. Connolly crashing towards the net. Had it poke checked off a stick by Bonds, and Egan gets it back. Egan a pass to the high. Slaughter is shot, and that one was saved. It went off the glass into the crease, and Penn State scored. What a wild turn of events there. A shot from Adam Johnson went off of the glass and then ended up right in the crease for an easy rebound goal. We'll get the goal scorer on that play. That's going to be Alexander Riggle on the goal. The fourth liner finds the back of the net. That is his third goal of the season. And it is 8-1 Penn State. Backhanded into the zone by Drake. Now looking for any sense of momentum as we have seven minutes left to play. Just trying to find something positive to take out of this game as Egan Gets right in front, pokes one towards the net. Save made off the right pad of Aiden Jones. Long. That one passed essentially off the post by Riggle. Another chance for Riggle, and this one off the pad of Aiden Jones. Long gets it back. Captain for Penn State. Goes to the point. Risters is deflected. And another chance for Riggle. That one saved again by Aiden Jones. Out to the neutral zone. Near head. Tapped it into the ice line zone, but Penn State has control of the puck. Fornasian drifts to the right circle. He has a poke checked away. 6-12 left in the final period. Here's Liam Eden trying to make something happen. He gets a pass to Beganowski fresh off the bench. His wrist shot well wide. And it goes to the far side. Eden gets it back. Eden high slot wrist shot. Good save, Ferry. Beganowski avoids a hit, goes behind for Tucker Healy, but then it's lost off the boards. Eaton recovering it again, and a good job on the forecheck. But again, they will lose it. Being brought forward by Avellino. Ends up back behind Ferry's net. It's passed forward, it's taken off the stick of Avellino. Here's Healy, pushes it behind for Tomaszewski. Tomaszewski right in front, a chance for Healy. He's got a second bite at the cherry and it's wide. Then a wraparound for Steinberg. He can't force it in. And it will be backhanded back out to the neutralized for Avellino. Avellino avoids a hit from Brodsky. Avellino still with the puck. Cross the ice. Breaking down on it, a chance for Schumann. His shot goes wide. Backhanded back out to the point by Tokarczyk. Shot comes in and they scored. 9-1, Nittany Lions. That one looked like it was redirected in. And that one looks like it's gonna be credited to Steve Avellino. Didn't really see Jones react either, so that's normally an indicator that it was tipped. That's Avellino's first goal of the season for the junior. And nothing really, obviously the goaltender's not warmed up, but I don't think there was anything he could do on that, whether he was or not, because, I mean, he clearly there was either screen or a redirection. It looked like there was both. So that's going to be Avellino's goal. That's who was first in line. We'll get double checks on those goals. 
for tomorrow's contest where that one at least looked like Avellino took credit for it, unless it was deflected in front possibly. But either way, this puck goes all the way down to Maryland zone, and it's covered by Aiden Jones for a stoppage. 9-1 Penn State. Face off to the left to Jones. Puck goes out to the point. He's taken away by Maryland. They'll have a chance forward. Mearhead. Mearhead wrist shot wide. Missed the top right corner. McNamara nearly dispossessed, is dispossessed. Now Strobel recovers the puck, fires it behind. Maryland wins it back in their own zone. Backhanded to neutral ice. It'll be taken by Green. Green across for Schumann. I do like that line playing together, though, the Trevor Drake, Andrew Depoy, and Andrew Muirhead line. I think that those guys uh, give them a chance together, see how they play. You know, Muirhead was on the first line to start the season, then he went down with that big injury. They put him into the third when he came back, and now they bumped him up back to the second line. Trevor Drake's playing some great hockey, just looking for his first point in the D2 level. I think he's gotten some unlucky times um, without a point, you know, and... Um, and DePoy is a solid center, so I think he could be a good face-off man for those two wingers. 3.07 left in the period. Here's Delia bringing it forward into the right circle. Delia will try a shot that goes wide and swings around the boards back to neutral ice, and where it will be taken by Bornazian. Shot back for Delia. Delia cutting up ice, gets the pass to Strobel. Strobel brings it past the blue line. Strobel looking for a shot angle. He'll swing it behind the net. 2.40 left to play in the third period. 9-1 Penn State. Maryland can't get a clear. Good. Tries to get a shot off as it's punched back towards neutral ice. They work on getting it to Liam Eden, but a good poke check there by Adam Johnson. Goes forward for Liam Egan. And we're going to offside here against Penn State delayed, so they'll have to... Clear out of the Maryland zone. Terps will be able to take their time going forward. Jetson Koo plays a pass off the boards, and this is going to be icing against Maryland. Two ten on the clock in the third period. Trying to see this one out. Terps scored the first goal in this game. They gave up nine unanswered goals. Seemed flat here in the third period as they did in the second. I think post game is going to be important too. It's it's about how you conduct yourself as well after the game, and you got to channel your frustrations in the right way. You know, like we keep saying, they got another one tomorrow afternoon, early game, same opponent, everything. So it's pretty much a rematch. You could split the series, or you could get swept to nothing. And Maryland and needs to get some wins in the mock. They have only yeah. beaten Stevenson all season, and they got some tough games coming up. They got to play Ryder still, and then they get two against Drexel to finish out the mock slate. And they need to be ready for those games if they want to get a reasonable seed in the mock playoffs. All teams make it, but it depends on who you play in the first round. Terps trying to generate something here. This so one ends up with an Eden shot save made by Ferry, who's just been a brick wall in this game. Jetson Koo with a chance. Koo off the outside of the net. Don't see him in an offensive position often, but Koo ends up putting that one off the outside of the net. Minute five left in the third period. Smart move by Koo to wait in that puck, wait for the opening and get the goaltender to shift away a little bit. He did just that, but fired it right off the side of the net. Tomaszewski has his pocket pick by Avellino. To Karczyk. Interesting pass. Uh, ends up with a chance there for Leon. Looking for a hat trick. Goes wide. Schumann. Rister. Good glove save by Jones. That's another decision that Joe Carter will have tomorrow. Does he go back to Pelletier, who's been his statistically superior goaltender, but had a bad night? Or will he go to Jones, who's played good hockey recently? We'll see how that one turns out. Jones has looked solid in this game, but it's difficult for him to be judged without a warm-up. 
I think if I was Coach Carter, I would go with Aiden Jones just because Pelletier played the majority of this game. And keep in mind, Jones had a really great game against Towson last week. So I think I would go with Aiden Jones tomorrow. But again, it could be a coin toss. 15 seconds left in the final period. They try to make a 10 with a pass in front, but that one was deflected wide. Maryland with a chance to take advantage of a puck here in neutral. He's landing the win, trying to body his way towards the net, but he's just shoved off by Schumann. Schumann will clear. Two seconds left, and we are done here in State College. Penn State Ice Lions had it all going on today. Nine goals. They beat the Terps 9-1. to one. Really responded well. Pretty much Maryland had the lead for 30 seconds in this game. They scored with under three minutes left in the first period. Liam Eden with a beautiful goal. But then the Ice Lions just went on a tear from their goals for Penn State. From Brian Nelson, Matt Owens, Justin Strobel, Michael Leone had two. Adam Johnson had that beauty on the shorthanded chance. Joe DeLaurentis with a goal. Alexander Riggle and Steve Avellino were the goal scorers we had up here. On those last couple got difficult as Penn State wasn't really celebrating those last few, so we couldn't quite see who they were surrounding. But that will be the end of tonight's broadcast. We really appreciate you tuning in. But before we do go, we'll uh, get your uh, final thoughts here, Matt. The Terps uh, look like they were really hanging in there for the first 18 minutes of this game, but then all of a sudden they just kind of got caught pretty much with their hands in their pockets in periods of time there as Penn State just really never broke down the pace. Maryland played with them for those first 18 minutes, and then just Penn State just ran and ran and ran. They pretty much all ran them off the ice. They played really well to start the game, but you thought it was going to be a close affair, just judging off of the first 18 or so minutes, like you said. But things started to get flat. Penn State scored the equalizer, and then once they got that second goal, I think they started to really find their groove. And obviously it's a tough night, but... Again, you got that game tomorrow, so you got to keep your head in the right space. It's incredibly important, you know, playing another one tomorrow as opposed to next week and having the rest of the weekend off. That's not the case. So you got to go back to, for the Terps, at least your, your hotel room and, uh, and you know, stay in good spirits and um, make sure your head's in the right space for tomorrow because obviously it's not a good feeling tonight, but... You know, you got the same team you're playing tomorrow. You're coming back to the same arena, and you want to come back feeling better than you did today at coming here to the arena. So Maryland will drop to six and seven on the season. They just haven't been able to get above 500. They've been able to get back there, just can't seem to get that one win to get them above 500. So they'll try and track back tomorrow. Penn State 8 and 3 now on the season they are now 3 and 2 in the mock Maryland is 2 and 5 they have got to pick up some wins in the conference here and they would love to end the fall semester with a win but again they'll have a tough opponent in this same Penn State team that just beat them 9 to 1 so there's definitely going to have to be a lot of adjustments made for tomorrow's game but that'll do it for us here tonight from Pagula Ice Arena we will be back tomorrow at 2 p.m. for that game the rematch between these two teams. But we thank you again for tuning in here on Maryland Hockey Network for our cameraman Kyle Abosh and our color guy Matt Fusillo. We really appreciate you all tuning in, and we hope to see you tomorrow. Final score here from Pagula Ice Arena at 9-1. The Ice Lions get the win.